Hola, welcome to our kitchen. My name is Emily and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Dietitians. Today we're grilling up some yummy Mexican-inspired fish tacos. Yes, I am so excited for this recipe. It's really refreshing and just a really fun twist on traditional tacos. I say we jump right in. I like it. So the first thing we did was we preheated our tabletop grill and it's all ready to go. Perfect. And now we're just gonna get started on our marinade. All it's right. It's super simple. So we're gonna add some canola oil some fresh lime juice. Marinades are so simple to make and really by making our own, we're cutting down on a lot of the sodium that you would Definitely. traditionally find in like bottled marinades or even the um, seasoning packets yep. for tacos and things like that. So I just added a little bit of garlic and then we're gonna add our homemade taco seasoning which is cumin, chili powder, a little bit of cayenne and some paprika. And these are all things that most people just have at home already in their kitchens. So really, really simple to just whip up. And then I'm just gonna add a touch of salt. Bring all those good flavors some black together. Pepper. And by marinating our fish, it's really gonna provide a nice flavor and more of a Mexican twist on tilapia. Pour this in. And we are using tilapia just because it's a very mild flavored white fish. You could certainly substitute cod or something else. Tilapia is usually available as well and we prefer to purchase the fresh tilapia or the fresh fish simply because it just cooks a little bit better. Sometimes when the fish is frozen you have that extra water and it doesn't grill up quite as well. Um, so we are using the the fresh tilapia today. Yeah and we're just kind of tossing it in this bowl but you could also place this in a large zip top yes. bag mm -hmm. and just give it a good shake. And we want to let this marinade for about 20 minutes or so, ideally, yep. um, but not much longer, not longer, right? Because the lime juice will actually start to cook the fish, so it'll change up that so interesting. the texture. All right, so I think this is pretty much all coated. Do you want to start on our topping? Yes, I will get started on. Yes. Our slaw is going to be our topping today, so we're using red cabbage. So this was just bagged red cabbage that we bought, already all chopped up for us. I love the fact that we're using a really uh, colorful vegetable. It's gonna provide a lot of really good um, nutrients as well. So we're gonna mix in some red onions too, so even more of that. And if you're not a fan of the bite that red onions can sometimes have, a yeah. trick that we learned was just running it under some cool water and then giving it a pat dry and it'll take away some of that bite. Or it's you really could also great use a more mild onion like a yellow onion. Something more traditional. Yep. So I just added some canola oil then after the cilantro and then some fresh lime juice. Sticking with that theme. I'm just gonna kind of mix this up. Making Looks so fresh and colorful. Here. Oh, I love it. It'll be the perfect topping for our tacos. So instead of like traditional salsa or something like that, we're using the, the slaw, which is really And a great way to get some extra fun. back to use. Definitely, yes. All right, well you're mixing that up. I'm just gonna get started on grilling our fish. We already have this preheated, like I said, but we're just gonna give it a quick spray. Make sure we don't have any fish sticking. All right, and then we're just gonna pop some of this fish on here. And you could certainly grill this outside. Today yep. we're doing it inside on our George Foreman grill, our tabletop grill. Oh, the fish looks amazing in the marinade. It's gonna cook Smells up amazing. really nicely. Just gonna pack this on here. Another thing I love about fish, especially grilling it, is that it cooks so quickly. quickly. So it only is just a couple minutes to grill. All right, let's take a peek at our fish. Oh, that looks delicious. Let's pop this off. Yum, and it smells really good too. I can smell all those spices that we used. Yep, it's definitely done. Yep, it's nice flaking and away. Flaky, which is gonna be perfect. It's flaking on its own, which is great. It'll be perfect to put in the tacos. While you're doing that, I'm gonna open up our corn tortillas. So we're using corn tortillas today. Corn tortillas are gluten-free, they're a whole grain. Another option is, if you prefer more of a, a flour tortilla, you could use like a whole wheat tortilla. Our favorite is the La Tortilla Factory, uh, the high fiber variety. And then we just made those, we put the corn tortillas in a little packet of aluminum foil and baked it at 350 for about 15 minutes just to get them nice and warm and make them more pliable so when we make the tacos they won't fall apart. That's a great tip. So then I just kind of chopped this up so that we have nice flakes for our tacos. 
I like it. So I'm going to give you a corn tortilla, Emily. Thank you. Yes, these are a much better texture than <laughs> when you don't cook them. They easily break apart. Put a little bit of fish on here. Oh, taco seasoning smells just That fish delicious. just sounds. And then a little bit of slaw. Let me get this big piece right here. I'm going to get a little slaw, too. Already, yeah. yeah. Slaw looks awesome. And then, I mean, when we talk about taco topping, toppings, there are so many different things Oops. that you can use. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of... Cotija cheese. Yes, yeah. Mexican style cheese. Style it's cheese. kind of hard. Uh, find, you can find it in our Deli Island. Yes, by all the other cheeses. And I'm going to put in just a little dollop of... Greek yogurt. Plain non-fat Greek yogurt as well. Perfect trade-up for sour cream. And then we have to garnish with a lime. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's spread some of this. And you could also top it with some avocado. That would be really delicious. Yes, as well. Ooh, but just a little bit of that lime juice goes a long way. Excited. Me too. Oh, this just it's looks like so pretty. Fiesta. All right, you ready? Yep. Mm. Really good. So fresh. So many good flavors. I love it. This is definitely going on my uh, dinner menu this definitely. week. <laughs> well, we hope you give this unique and refreshing Mexican twist a try. And remember, you can always eat well with Festival Foods. Adios. Adios.